Leaks are the worst, guys, honestly. Um, got quite an interesting one, to be fair. Um, just show you briefly. This has all been exposed because the whole floor was lifted in, in this flat. Um, see the mirrors everywhere. It's literally just glass mirrors everywhere. Um, so working in here, um, we've got this shower tray, which was taken out last week. New ones there. Um, it was a big like stately home that converted it all into flats. Um, ran all the pipe work in, like these sort of like um, galvanized sort of steel channels. So there was a leak on the tray and then there was a leak under the bath as well. And what it's done is it's flooded the whole of downstairs in these channels so the floor's lifting. Um, so we basically, well the floor guys have taken the floor up, etc., to to um, to repair the floor because it's knackered. Um, so we've come in, located two leaks, um, one of which, um, I'll see if I can leave the picture on the screen, um, was the waste was over here in the corner um, and the trap had split. The problem was I couldn't get my hand in because the old tray was an old tin tray, believe it or not, um, inset in polystyrene. Um, I couldn't get access in there. Um, being an 800 deep tray, I couldn't, I've only got little arms as you guys can see. Um, I couldn't get in there to get to repair that. Um, customer just wanted um, it all fixed regardless. So old trays out, uh, new trays going in. Um, what I've done is I've left the back brass tiles on, taken out these two silos. Um, I have to reboard that with some welly board. I've taken off the old adhesive off the backing board. Got to clean all this up, etc. Um, later on with some WD or something, clean all this up. Re put the tray back in, retile it. New enclosure, job done. Um, they've had a repair done to the shower before. Um, yeah, I've had that done at some point. Anyway, I have to deal with this waist first, which, so it's uh, an M&F elbow, um, or street elbow, depending on your terminology. I'm going into this adapter that went onto the old trap. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multi-tool across there, split that off, get a socket on there, then I know I can run my new. A uh, bit of pipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trap in this corner here um, so it's accessible to the front and it's not sat at the back. Um, the tray itself does come with an upright, uh, an uprising kit, an, uh, an upstand kit, um, and we're going to have to mount a piece of, we're going to have to put two bits of four by two in here. We're going to have to put one across the back there on the floor to raise it up because the floor, um, the camera won't pick it up, but the floor drops down. Um, and obviously I want to go up to the bottom of that tile, so those, those tiles are across there. So what we're going to do is 4 by 2 across there, 4 by 2 across the front of the tray where the legs are going. So I'm going to screw and bond the 4 by 2 to the floor, then I can then level the legs up on top of the 4 by 2 um, and then I can glue the tray into the wall, etc. That's the plan anyway. Let's get going. All we're going to do, I think, is we're just going to mock this up temporarily. So, bag all the bits. Our oh, 45 is going to twist. So, let's take that out. Cut out. Um, I'm just going to make this in temporarily, I think, to start with. It's just so we can work out exactly what we're doing um, and the best place for it to go. Um, we can always move the tray afterwards um, to wherever I need it to go. But like I say, I want the best possible fall um, on the on the on the tray really. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be a bit too a bit too tight. Let me show you. So this is um, the trap in, and if you pictured it in this corner where I needed to go. Yeah, I think that's going to be a no-go. If I do that, so it's at the right angle, and my waist is here, I've got to come all the way back on myself. Whereas if this was pointing that way, and this was over this way, then that could literally just start straight across and then in 
if that makes sense. I think that's gonna be the best place. Um, it's easiest for me to get to it as well. Um, yeah, and I think what I can do is I can put a piece of pipe in there in a second um, and then work out exactly the, the direction I wanna go. Um, I just wanna give it as much full as possible because um, it's not they're not like a, a deep profile tray, they're quite a shallow profile. Um, they're all unvented in this place, but yeah, I just wanna give it as much flow rate as possible. Um, the door's opening this way, so you're not stepping onto the trap, the trap's over there. Yeah, I think that's what we'll, I think that's what we'll end up doing. So what I've done, a um, bit, bit of a mare with this. So this pipe goes into the soil stack on the other side of this wall here. Um, and what it does is it twists in one of those um, push fit um, strap bosses. So what I've done is taken out a bit of the floor, renewed the piece of pipe, so it's just easier. Um, put an elbow on. I'd like to have got a swept elbow in there. Um, problem was, I'm out of the sticks and I haven't got one. Um, but a normal elbow is fine as long as you've got the full, um, and there's nothing else teeing into it, so they're all good. So what I'm thinking is, um, oh, I'd like to try and keep the, tra the waist over this side in this corner. Um, I'm pretty certain I can get my arm in because the tray's finishing somewhere there, to there. I'm pretty certain I can get my arm in to do up the things. Um, problem is, I don't want to put it there and then put loads of elbows just for the sake of putting the trap there. But in theory, I can put it here and have the direct fall going straight over into our waist over there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put the tray in um, just temporarily with the waist on. Um, and just sort of see how it's gonna work, if it's gonna work that way. If not, then I'll switch over this way. Um, but I want the best possible fall and flow I can. Um, I mean, let me know guys as well. Who else's OCD is gonna go nuts? So I, I haven't got a, a white m &F elbow. I've only got a black one. Um, I've got 45s and what have you, but problem is I wanna keep this waist as low, as low down there as I can, so I've got if I need to come over here with it, I've still got the full. Um, worst case, I take this out and I can put in, um, I can put in a um, two forty five to give me that kind of that sort of that long radius. Um, I might twist now. There you go. Maybe if I do, it's so difficult one handed. Um, you know what I mean? Two forty fives coming off the top of that. Um, obviously over this way would give me um, give me lots of clearance there and would give me a nice good fall. Um, yeah, let's put the waste on the, on the, let's put the trap on the tray. So we've dropped the tray in and figured out where I need the pipe. So I'm just gonna draw on the floor, like so. Nice couple of big marks. Take this out, like so. Unwind this and then glue this up, so. People have different ways of doing it. I'm really not sure of it. Um, some people glue just the fit in, others glue the pipe. Um, I'd put it on uh, both, more on the um, the pipe than the fit in. So only a thin smear on the fit in, not a lot. Otherwise, it will get get stuck. Then what I'm going to do is put that in, push her in, put that in just to line it up like so. Beautiful. And then we'll glue the, I say glue the pipe up. Get all the solvent weld all over the floor. Try to be that one, do that. And I'm just gonna put a thin smear in there. And then push and twist. So that, we'll leave that alone for the minute. Just like so. So we'll leave that where it's gotta be. Try and leave that for um, a little, 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna give that hoover up where I've taken out the concrete. Um, just leave that to harden up before I go putting this in. Um, but also what it gives me a chance to do now is go and cut my support. So I'm gonna put a support at the back there, um, which I'm gonna glue down. I'm not gonna screw it down um, because I don't know. Um, I just know it should be good to be fair. I don't know what services there are. I'm pretty certain, you know, I saw a, um, like a poly, 
you can see it in there. Um, I know it's miles away. Um, do you know what? We'll go for it. We'll put a couple of screws in, just hold it down. I'm going to put one going this way, and I'm going to put one going this way. But I'm going to avoid putting one across the front. Reason for that is, if I put a piece of 4x2 across the front, um, I'm not going to get the trap out. Um, but what I don't want is I don't want the tray to be all wibbly wobbly um, like it was when you saw it on those tiles. And I actually showed you to be there. Um, but yeah, the floor just drops away in that corner. So I'm going to have to jack it up to get it finishing with that bottom row of tiles. Um, see, I think across there, make it like a horseshoe shape. Um, and that'll be absolutely solid. That'll be absolutely fine. Right, let's hoover this up. Let's go and cut some timber and get that in. Then the tray then can finally go in. Right, the timber's cut, so what I'm having to do, got my back brace in over there, um, cut it out for this, got my uh, brace in here, you can see I've had to put packers underneath just to get it all plumb, um, all plumb and level. So that's got to go across there, that one's in there, yeah. Um, Fun and games, I tell you. Um, so we're pretty much kind of ready to go now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, mark around where these packers are on the floor, um, and I'm going to bond these bits of timber down, um, and then screw them all together, and then screw them down to the floor. If that makes sense. Um, I basically just want kind of one whole continuous frame, apart from where I am, because right here is where the trap is, which will connect onto that. Um, I just want everything to be um, as solid as it can be. Um, and then I can then um, get the measurements right on the, the, uh, the legs on the tray, and then we can offer it back in. That's the plan anyway. There we go guys, so we have a level each side, across there, we're touching the tiles, well the ones that are cut to the right shape anyway, so we're touching, gonna pull this out, um, gonna now put some um, some mastic um, all in there, etc. cetera, um, to bond the tray to the walls, um, and then what I'll do is I'll smooth it off, and then we can properly silicon it once I've once I tiled it, um, yeah, enough room there for the trap underneath to go underneath it on my boot, wherever it is, there. So we've got loads of room under there. Yeah, beautiful. Waist has got a good fall on it. So I think what we'll do now is I'll pull it back out um, either side and we'll bond it into the wall. So waist is in, so we'll put our trap together. Um, I'll leave the protective film on this 
Um, it's not a Macau Palm one, it's just like an own brand one for the merchants. So we'll sit that on. Um, what I've got to do now is sort this wall out. So um, get a thin strip of board back in there so then it's got something to go to. Um, fill it with um, adhesive, etc. Um, so it's all sealed. Then we can tile it um, and we can go across this side. So you can see I've gone across that way. That side's all sealed up to the wall. Um, the reason we're going up to the old tile height is because that's what the customer wanted. Um, they want to try and keep everything matching. Luckily, they have got some spare tiles just over there. Um, so we'll clean them up um, and then that will look as good as new. Um, and obviously we'll put the shower valve back together and what have you. But yeah, trays in. Um, so I think what I'm going to do next is just finish, finish off up underneath. Sort that out, and then um, we'll look at getting this tiled. So you join me on the uh, the following day. Um, what I did was I left the tiles overnight to set um, in the adhesive, etc. Um, and I'm now just looking up the shower screen. So let's uh, buzz you round. Okay, guys, you can see enclosure mm -hmm. is in. Through there, just got to put the bottom seal on down here, all masticked up, etc. Tiles are in. Um, remember that back edge was already there, so we've just come to them. Tiles are in, yeah. Um, it's all tested, um, by the waste, etc. Um, but basically, yeah, just um, just back now to uh, to look up the bottom there, up there, um as per the MIs, and the shower screen we're fitting is one of these, um, it's a verve. Um, and little um, little thing with the shower screens or enclosures or anything like this is never seal the inside unless it tells you to. Um, right here it says outside only 24 hours before use. These are actually pretty good instructions to be fair. Um, set of eight, nice and clear. Um, even gives you a proper like um, diagram as to which way the seal's got to go. Cause sometimes some instructions can be a little bit hit and miss. Um, but this is, yeah, that's actually half decent to be fair. And the instructions aren't like thin paper either. They're actually quite a nice like little book. Um, anyway, that's enough for me waffling. Enough for me in this mirrored bathroom. Uh, let's get the silicon up, get it all packed away. And then I'll show you the, the finished job once I've cleaned everything up. And all I do, guys, to be fair, is I use a smaller five mil on there. Just got to wave it a couple of times just to pick up. Um, these are the the Fuji, Fuji Kramer ones. Um, yeah, um, really, really rate these. I just wipe it on blue roll, keep folding it over, I said, you'll keep cleaning the tool. Yeah, so we'll work down there, across the bottom there, and we'll get this all uh, all sealed up. Where's the packing up, innit? Um, but we're done. We are done. So you can see in the end I put a bracing bar across the front because I need something to put the um, the plinth on. Um, so what I'm doing is we're going to leave this plinth here which came with the riser kit. We're going to leave that here. Um, so they've got to bring the floor up. I don't know if you guys have been to make it out. About 25, 30 mil, which should just about fit that riser kit. If not, we'll get some... Um, window board to go across the front to finish that off nicely so we can get access to everything. But yeah, putting the trap there means we can get to it. Um, and that bracing bar, you can just unscrew to get the trap out in future um, and get your hands in there, etc. But yeah, we're all done. Um, it's just the case now as the floor guys to come and finish off and do whatever they're doing in here. So I've got, obviously got patching on this and whatever else. And um, while I was here as well, just reconnected the bath because that was um, part of the leak as well. So I've re-plumbed that in. Um, new flush cone on there, ready to set the toilet. So it's a floor standing pan. Um, so we've got to wait for the floor to go down before we can fit that, etc. But overall, we're done. Uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, be sure to check out next week's one. I've got an absolute belter. Guys, have a good one. See you later.